Yeah, we actually got a station right across the street from the car dealership here, and uh, they actually was uh, alerted by someone uh, banging on the door that notified them that there was a fire over here in one of the storage units. Uh, do y'all know who that person was? If they were here, or they just happened to be passing by? I'm or? not sure at this time. Uh, they were alerted, and uh, they, you know, responded on over here, notified our dispatch center, and that alerted all the other apparatus. As well. So when they got on scene, um, from what I have seen, it was large flames. Can I give me? Can you give us an idea of what it looked like? Yes, when our first unit arrived on scene, they had heavy smoke and flames running from one end of the storage unit to the other. Right now, we have just that one storage unit. Uh, the build the whole building that's involved. Do you know how large this is? How many rows of units there are? Or I think it... there's about uh, five or six different uh, build storage unit buildings. And right now, like I said, we've got it contained to that one one building. Have there been any injuries, or was anyone taken from the scene? As far as you know, uh, I have been alerted. We did have one that was burned, and he is at, currently at Georgetown Community Hospital. And was that a firefighter? Or... No, that was. Uh, uh, civilian that, that, that I'm aware of. It was not a part of And obviously it's very, very cold. It is cold. <laughs> does that um, at all impact what you're doing here? How does that affect yes, you guys? It, it makes our job a lot harder. Uh, right now our guys are, you know, struggling with not falling on, you know, the water that we're using as soon as it hits the ground, it's freezing. So, you know, not only are they dealing with the fire conditions, they're also dealing with the ice conditions now that because of the water. So it's, it's, it's it makes our job a little bit tough.